NVIDIA released a free background noise removal tool that I'm using right now called RTX Voice. You can download it and I'll show you exactly how it works with and without the noise removal. Right now, I am removing noise. So all my keyboard typing, I'm typing now, you can't hear it. And if I turn it off, I am typing now. Can you hear it? And there's also background noise. My aircon is running. Now the noise removal tool is active. It is basically eliminating all background noise without affecting my voice. It's so cool because it's free and it only works on GTX and RTX cards, not only RTX cards. Let me give you another example. This is my favorite typing game, wordfall.com. In this typing game, I'm about to go madly type at 100 words per minute and make some errors along the way. But you don't hear me typing, do you? Now I'm gonna turn off noise removal and I'll do exactly the same thing. So you can see I'm actually typing and making lots of mistakes. Okay, you get the idea. Now, how do you get this noise removal tool? Well, this is the official NVIDIA page about RTX Voice. The link is down there in the comments, no, description below. I always get those two mixed up. And how did I even know about this? One of you told me about it in the comments in my last video. Fine Gaming Connoisseur said, I've recently started using NVIDIA RTX Voice, which mutes most of the loud fan noise coming from my laptop. I didn't even know this thing existed, guys. So I quickly Googled it and it really is working well. The instructions here show you how to install it on GTX cards, because I don't have an RTX card. The link to this article is down there in the description below. And basically, you need to do some editing of a config file to remove this little piece so that you can install it on a GTX card. And it works really well, even on GTX cards, it uses your CUDA cores, your GPU, to do some artificial intelligence noise removal that doesn't affect your CPU, and so you can still game with the same FPS while having uh, no background noise. Now what's really cool is with RTX, you get Minecraft with ray tracing, fully rendered, real-time ray tracing. So you know what I did? I went and bought me this. <laughs> so I now am the proud owner. This is not unboxed. This is the original box, unopened, legit. So I will have an RTX card, but right now I'm running on my GTX 1080, and this works on GTX 1060, 1070, 1080 all really well. I love it, guys. Tell me what you think down there in the comments below. Are there any other tools that I don't know about that I want to share with all of you uh, that you can tell me, like Fine Gaming Connoisseur did, about RTX Voice? Let's help each other grow together as a family because that is the spirit of freedom. And if you are curious about Wordfall, oh, the game is still playing for me. This is a beta. We are building it. It's our game, guys. This is our second game after the clot thickens. As I said, it's on wordfall.com. And if you want to try it out, let us know how you like it. The point of the game is you'll be able to get high scores for playing different levels. And you can also do a practice mode where you can set your target words per minute and how long you want to be punished for. You can also choose different themes. I actually really like the retro theme that I'll show you quickly right now. It reminds me of Typing Tutor, Wordfall, if you guys remember that. Same game, just with some retro graphics in it. And we also have a multiplayer mode coming. It is working in our test servers, but we haven't launched it yet, where you can play with each other cooperatively. So you can invite people to a lobby and then play Wordfall together with them so you can try to beat higher levels than you could on your own. And later on, we will have some competitive modes as well as a boss fight mode where things will fall like fireball and you have to type fireball to shoot a fireball at the boss and shield to defend against his attacks. 
it'll be both strategy and typing speed and working cooperatively with other players, just like in an MMO raid. And we hope you'll really enjoy this uh, game mode. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun building it and hopefully play with you. And the other feature we will add very soon is for you to provide custom word lists. So you'll be able to upload phrases that are meaningful to you so you can play with your audience and they can enjoy the things that you always are known for saying like, let's help each other grow together as a family or just for freedom and the freedom family. Those are gonna be the keywords you're gonna be typing when you play with me in my custom version of Wordfall. Is this a fun game, guys? Does it sound like a fun game? Let's do a poll. Click that I to answer the question, are you excited about Wordfall, yes or no? And as you know, poll cards are going away on June 10th. So this will be our very last poll that we can all do together. So cast your vote and let's see how many of you are in fact excited. And this chart, which is something I told you to do for all of your videos, but yeah, the poll cards are going away tomorrow. So let's see if they actually go away. Hey, look, 89% of you when I asked said, yes, I want to keep poll cards. So let's see if YouTube uh, keeps them. I think they won't, but we'll see tomorrow. All right, Freedom Family, who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sun Pie, and the guy, the bearded, what was that one? Let me look it up in the comment history. Search for bearded. Here we go. Ninja Jiao said, your new nickname would be Mr. Super Freedom George the Bearded Man. All right, I gotta get to know that one. Thank you, Ninja Jiao, for that new name. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom! For freedom! Whoops, which hand? For freedom and the Freedom Family, where we all help each other grow together as a family. And in case you're wondering, normally I'm wearing a black shirt. I chose to wear this gray shirt because this slide, where did it go? Is in black. So in this mode, you probably would see just a floating head. Quick wardrobe change complete. Here is the talking head. I am kind of uh, black on black here. Actually, the chair does give me some form around my body. But uh, yeah, I think the gray shirt was better, don't you? And we're back in gray. All right, Freedom Family, today I did my jog, swim, and jog back home again, and I lost 3.4 kilograms. Before I started my jog, I was 84.7 kg. An hour and a half later, when I came back home and weighed myself on the same scale, I was 81.3. 84.7 minus 81.3 is 3.4. 3.4 kilograms in less than two hours, that's like, you know, unheard of weight loss. Of course, it's mostly water loss. And I quickly drank two kilograms of water, literally two kilograms of liquids, lemon juice, lime juice, water, and a little bit of milk. And uh, my weight went up to like 83.7 or 83.3, I think, kilograms. Yeah, basically two kilograms of liquids. But I hope this routine of jogging, swimming, jogging will lower my weight over time. My goal is to hit to 75 kilograms, and then I feel I will lose this belly. <laughs> What's your target weight, Freedom Family? Tell me down there in the comments below. And what are you doing to reach it? What type of exercises have you been doing regularly? And I mean really doing, not just promising yourself you'll be doing, and then not doing them because you're lazy. It's so easy to be lazy, isn't it? Well, don't be lazy. Get out there, get off that chair, do your exercises, be it jogging, gym, swimming, rowing, skipping rope, anything. Just work up a sweat and do that every day. All right, Freedom Family, I am George and you, oh, if you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell, the, or what is it, dong that bell bell to get notified about future updates. I've seen a lot of creators remind their audience to like and subscribe and I haven't been doing it so I'm a little I'm trying to find the right wording to get used to say it at the end of each of my videos but does it actually make a difference guys? Do you like and subscribe to channels when 
the creator asks you to at the end of his videos? Or do you just do it anyway because, well, because you like the video and because you want to subscribe to get more content and notified uh, without being told to? I'd love to know. I'll try using this tactic and see if we grow faster in this channel. All right. Once again, I'm George, and you've been watching The Joy Channel. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.